Yep. Uh, first off, uh, really proud of our guys. Great win. Uh, that's a very well-coached basketball team. Coach Keats and his staff, I mean, they've got really good players. They play hard. They're hard to guard. Um, there will be a team that's going to win you know, multiple games, possibly, in the NCAA tournament. So that's a great win for us. I mean, they beat Arizona. They beat North Carolina at North Carolina. They beat Duke. They just, you know, rock Florida State. I mean, they just, they're, they're a good team, so it's a great win for us. And for us, it validated that I, you know, that we are getting better. You know, we just haven't had some wins to validate it, but we've, we've got guys that worked. They've put their hard hat on, they've rolled their sleeves up, and we've worked every day, and we've stayed the course. And, you know, what I would tell you is on our team, and I'm, you know, really proud of them, even during the stretch where we've lost games, you know, and, and had some tough losses. The bench has been great. You see the energy on the bench. Guys have come to practice every day and have worked. There's been no pouting. And that's not normal in this day and age uh, on teams when you've encountered some losing. And uh, that's a real credit to our young men, and, and I still believe in our culture um, and we're trying as we're trying to build it. So we really had a good, tough, gutty win today, and we found a way to get the W. Our studs were studs, and they produced for us, Todrick Jackson and Ben Lammers and, and Josh, besides his turnovers, those three guys really came through for us. And those young guys, Evan Cole and Moses Wright, you know, I, I had to jump them early because they were, like, shell-shocked, you know, like a deer in headlights to start the game. But as they got into the flow of it, they got a little more comfortable. And I thought Brandon Alston gave us a solid. Just kept things simple. Didn't try to do anything fancy. When he keeps things simple, good things happen. And uh, Ben Lammers, you know, these last three games, Ben is, is the best he's felt. Um, since the UCLA game, and this is what we expected Ben Lammers to be. That's why we've run our entire, you know, offensive and defensive package around him. And when he's healthy and feeling good, you know, it, we're just a different team. But uh, a really good win for us, and it was a great, like I said, a great validation against a very, very good, well-coached basketball team. Your offense really seemed to click tonight. You ran some nice plays, some sharp cuts, and. Of course, Ben with seven assists, that's, that's yeah. a big plus. Ben had career high seven assists. He and Todrick combined 12 assists, four turnovers. But uh, we were, you know, we, 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 we've been better at cutting. You know, we've been better at cutting. And let me tell you, it's hard without a true point guard in, in this league. And uh, that's been hard for us. But uh, but Todrick's done a nice job. We've switched from instead of Josh at the point, we moved Todrick. And, and, and Todrick's done a nice job for us at that, at that, at that place. But... Uh, um, you know, in the first half we had six assists, 11 turnovers. In the second half we had 12 assists, three turnovers, and that's the big difference right there. It seemed like you, they're kind of figuring out how to play with each other. Yeah. Adding Moses and Evan in, which was something the guys weren't used to, yeah. and then yeah. not Evan Jose. It seems like it's starting to. They're sort of finding that identity, I guess, yeah. how to play together. No, they're 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 and and I mean, these guys shouldn't be playing the minutes they're playing in ACC play. They just shouldn't. They should be redshirting and being counted on two years down the road. But everything's expedited, and these minutes will pay dividends for Moses and Evan, and I mean, major dividends, not only for next year, but for the long term. Uh, but they're getting better, and I think guys are feeling a little more comfortable with each other, because the way the season has gone with our injuries, um, you know, it's it's been, we've had like seven different teams, literally in one season, and you're trying to adjust and make it work throughout the year. I also want to give a great uh, shout out to the crowd. I thought the crowd was fantastic, and I hope you guys can get that in there, or tweet it out. I mean, the crowd was, that I said it, the crowd was at, once again amazing. They were loud. They were energized. It's a Thursday night. You know, obviously we haven't had the the best of years, and and but for their for them to come out and and be that into it uh, gave us a great lift, and um, I'm really happy that we were able to validate that for the fans as well too. And then Saturday, you know, we we've got. You know, an honor and appreciation for the fans for what they've done this year. Or myself and our program is buying 3,500 Chick-fil-A biscuits for the first, you know, 3,500 fans on Senior Day and Appreciation Fan Appreciation Day. And doors open at 11, so you know, please come and get a biscuit and come and see Senior Day. Did it feel <laughs> like the first five, six minutes of the second half that you're kind of a dangerous place? They were maybe trying to throw a knockout punch. Yeah, but I, that's why I said this is a We've gutted it and toughed it out in this type of win. If you look at our team all year long, 
anytime we've been down, we've always come back. We've always found a way. Now, for whatever reason, we get ourselves down, but we always fight back. Or we've had leads, and then we give them away. But maybe a game or two we've had where it just kind of snowballed on us. But in, in the two years since I've, I've been here, I mean, which is a credit to the players, um, that rarely has a, a, a lead has gotten, and we haven't crawled, fought, kicked, whatever we had to do to find our way to get back within the game and, and give ourselves a chance. And that's where I go back to where, when you really watch us, in, in the midst of having a long losing streak, if you watch our bench, everyone's cheering like we're the number one team in the country. Guys, if you came to our practice, guys are, it's competitive, guys are getting better. Uh, they come to they come to work. There's no pouting, and, and I'm, it's very very important when you're seeing the big picture. And I and I'm just telling you, it's and it's easier said than done because you've got to have great discipline to continue that when things aren't always going your way. And and that's why tonight was nice to get a validation win with that to, for the guys. I was really happy for our young men and for the fans, most important too. Beginning of the game, state sort of outworked you on the boards, but at the end when you needed the big rebounds, you seemed to get them all. Yeah, we got some ball, we got some, you know, balls late where it came in our hands there and got some rebounds. We got some tough two-handed rebounds where we just stuck our nose in there. Ben came up with some big plays and um, yeah, the, the kid, your seven, really hit some big shots too. I mean, he's, he's good. I mean, they're, they, they got good players, North Carolina State, really good. Uh, they're they're going to be a dangerous team in, in the tournament, in the NCAA tournament, but we rebounded the ball. Uh, much better late. I just think the first start of the game, especially Moses and Evan, it was like a deer in headlights. Josh was throwing the ball left and right. I mean, we were just out of it, you know. And so uh, Ben watched. I'd take him right out because the guy missed a shot, and then he just watched and someone else rebounded it. But then I think we finally got, got to a flow. It, what went through your mind on the last offensive possession when Josh o throws the lob up? And... Well, not only that, think about it. We're up six. And they miss a three. Doran misses a three. And then the ball's over. And Todrick just watches the ball to going to to, uh, to Patrick. And then he doesn't. And his hands are down here by his side. And then he hits a three. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. And then we throw it to Josh. He goes down and he throws it out. I just think, you know, he's going to dribble out and get fouled. Sure, yeah. And then he just throws an alley oop to Evan. I just said, this is a, you. What else? I mean, we had a, we we scored another team's basket earlier in the year to cost us a game. I'm like, are you kidding me? Is this going to be going down? And they had some decent looks late, but we were we've been snake bitten this year. We deserved a break to go or the ball to bounce our way today, and at the end, it, thankfully, it did. The year seven Lambert's matchup. I mean, I know you're coaching, obviously, but how fun is that to watch? I thought I, I said multiple times on the bench. I turned to our staff. I said, man, year seven's good. I mean, he had, he had some just tough shots. He just hit tough shots. But and Ben played well too. Ben, they both were. Pros tonight, in a sense, you know. I mean, whether it's NBA or international or whatever, but they both played as pro, as pro basketball players. Anything else for Coach Bassner? With, with Moses, was any part of you think playing the team from his hometown and, and feeling that weight, or, or was it just something else? Or? Moses last year, his high school team was three and or five and twenty-three. He he's he's been playing basketball for a few years. He was a tennis player. Um, you know, he be, before he grew, he, he just thought he was going to be a chef. That's really what that was his dream was to be a chef, not to play basketball. It wasn't until his last two years he became his height. So he, he shouldn't be playing the minutes he's playing in the ACC. But it's got he's it's got, he's a development guy. But based on our numbers and our situation, he's thrown in there and he has gotten better. And part of him getting better, the extra work that he's he's learned now to understand about work ethic, and and the and he's embracing it. And so he's getting better. And you saw that, like that block he had, um, that might have changed the game because he blocked the shot and Todrick scored on the fast break layup. But I just think at the start of the game, Kenny, just he was a deer in headlights. But that's going to happen when you're, you know, coming from where he came from in a sense of basketball. And um, it's just that's why this experience he's getting for both he and Evan Cole are really good. And then obviously Jose and Curtis had gotten a lot of experience before they both went with season and injuries. Anything else?